Well, Greg, after a testing few weeks, that was a much needed win for the boys. Yeah, I think uh, we came out. It's nice to have a bit of uh, sun on the backs for a while. And I think the lads just worked hard and, and got our rewards. I think we a lot more disciplined today as well and just obviously managed to get the win out of it, which is positive. Rob heaped the pressure on you guys by saying it was almost a must win, but you seem to rise to that challenge. Yeah, I think it's just difficult, isn't it? If you end up on the, a little losing streak or whatever you want to call it, but it tends not to get too worried away with you know, losing periods or winning periods, just week by week things. So I think what was good was the lads just focused on what we needed to do this week, um, stuck to what, we, what we're good at and uh, obviously ground out a great result at home. Rob Hunter's just talked about it in the press conference, nilling aside in the Premiership's not easy, so you must take a lot of satisfaction from that as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think one of the areas that perhaps we've been a little bit disappointed with over the last few weeks has been our discipline. Um, and I think we were just a lot better today. I think there's one probably defensive penalty in the first half um, and obviously, you know, they just didn't manage to get any field position as a result of that. So, yeah, it was a real positive. For you, a chance to come on and have your first uh, appearance in the Premiership for the Chiefs. You must have been happy with that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, long time coming, but I was really pleased to, you know, finally get out there and have a few minutes at least and hopefully build on from here and, and uh, yeah, just kind of build on the rest of the season. Right across the board, though, in the squad, there's battles for positions and Hooker's probably no, no, no exception, really. Yeah, there's loads of them, isn't there? <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's, uh, obviously, I said when I came here, I think it's really positive that we've got um, you know, potential first choices in every position. I think it just helps people push for places. It means that the squad's a better place all round because people know that if they, uh, you know, aren't, aren't working hard each week, there's somebody ready to come in. Or injury-wise, like this week with Jack, you know, with his head, obviously someone's stepped straight in. And Luke he had a great game today, so yeah, it's brilliant. Let's take it forward to next week in Bath. We all know about the uh, the Bath scenario, but an LV Cup semi-final chance to play in a final here at Sandy Park. Lots of incentives for you. Oh, it'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think you know the, the pressures. But there is no pressure, is there? We've lost the bar for a few times, so it's, you know, it's not like the lads are going to be worried about doing that. What we, I suppose, would be worried about is not performing, and I think that's what we want to do is go there and really put in an 80-minute performance, which is perhaps what we've, we've not done uh, previously, is just sort of take it to them from minute one to minute 80. So, yeah. When you look at the last month or so, do you feel lessons have been learned from certain games as well? Yeah, I think so. I think specific, uh, particularly with our defence as well. We're just working hard on making sure that we're uh, disciplined and we're just trying new things and just, you know, it's not going to come together straight away. A few new boys in there as well, so it's always going to be difficult, especially the weather's not been particularly brilliant, but obviously we're coming into hopefully a better time of year, so yeah, hopefully try and get on a bit of a winning run. Just